Hey everybody, it's Dr. Andy here from Paul Chiropractic with another episode of the Wellness Lifestyle Connection. Uh, and today, um, we are going to kind of get back into more of our normal routine of stuff that we talk about. Um, and we're going to kind of get back right before uh, COVID happened. We had just started to talk about the subject of asthma. And so we're going to kind of retrace our steps and get back to that. So. Here we go. Okie doke. So, you know, asthma is, it's a growing issue um, in both kids and adults. Um, it is something that can be improved with chiropractic care and also influenced by lifestyle and environment. Um, we're going to get into more of those kind of factors as we go along here. But one thing that I get a ton of questions about, um, just kind of more in general, uh, regarding at anything that we talk about in these videos or even here in the office, <coughs> is in talking about something like asthma and the chiropractic approach to it or how does chiropractic affect it, all that kind of stuff. The main thing that I... Uh, uh, people ask is like, well, how are you treating asthma? And re in reality, we're not actually treating asthma. What we're treating is the spine, the subluxation or the misalignment in the spine, which is having an effect on the nerves, which then has a potential to affect something like asthma or indigestion or just about anything really. Um, so, I mean, we've talked a bunch of times, especially over the course of the last couple of months, about how the nervous system, um, you know, have stress on the nervous system can affect uh, tons of stuff, but in particular the uh, immune system. But not just kind of general stress on the uh, nervous system. Um, you know, that's, that's one aspect of how uh, chiropractic care can affect things like asthma. But the other thing is this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this up to the screen and hope you can actually see it or at least sort of see it. I'm probably gonna end up being backwards. Um, yeah, it's totally backwards. Anyway, you'll get the idea if I hold. I don't know if it's in focus either. But basically, when you look at each spinal level, you can follow that over to different organs and tissues that that spinal uh, the nerves that exit the spine from that level where they go, and then different. Um, things, you know, symptoms, uh, syndromes, that kind of stuff that can happen because of irritation on those nerves. So in the case of asthma, you know, we're, you know, that is, that is the thing you can get adjusted and have not only just kind of general stress on the nervous system, get released, so it allows your body to function at a more higher, like a higher level. Um, but then also you can affect specific nerves. And we'll get into this later uh, in one of the videos down the road here, uh, talking about which nerves and why and all that kind of stuff. But in a general sense, you can affect specific areas of the spine that affect specific areas of your body. So um, like to your lungs and to your bronchial tubes and that kind of thing, and sinuses that will affect stuff like asthma, sinus problems, all those kind of things. So that is just a real kind of general you know, blanket overview of what what we do in terms of uh, affecting something like asthma and again we're not actually treating asthma itself we're treating the spine to allow your body to help like take care of the asthma on its own at least better um, so I hope that um, at least sheds a little bit of light onto how that works if you have questions or anything drop them in the comments uh, or send us a message uh, and we will be glad to answer those or bring them to your next appointment and we'll you know I'll talk to your, till I'm blue in the face. I was going to say till you're blue in the face, but I'll talk till I'm blue in the face. Uh, and, you know, so that it kind of makes sense. But um, again, that's a very general overview of things. And we'll get into the more specifics of asthma here as we go along. But uh, that, again, that's a question we get a ton. And so I just wanted to cover that really quick. So at any rate, it is Memorial Day weekend. I hope you guys are able to get out and enjoy some of the weather, even though it's supposed to be kind of rainy. Um, but enjoy the long weekend. Um, Hopefully you can get some vitamin D, do something active and get some exercise. And we will see you in the next episode next week. Take it easy, everybody. Have a good one. Bye-bye.